Hey everyone! Welcome back to the Building Your First Lens tutorial series. If you're watching this video, that means you chose the Gen AI option on the selfie camera. If that's not what you chose, then you should go back a video. So let's jump right into our Lens Studio project. We're going to start exploring the Gen AI suite by hitting the tab next to the preview panel. When you scroll down, you'll see a lot of different ways that you can create new objects and effects. For this lens, we're going to try out the garment generation, so I'll click that. Now we can select what kind of garment we want to generate, then enter a prompt to describe what we want to see. I'm going to try the t-shirt option and type baseball shirt in the prompt, then click generate. The garment model generates previews pretty quickly, so it's okay to keep clicking regenerate to see if you can find a better option or refine your prompt. Maybe I want the shirt to be more black and white to match the hat's color scheme. I'll add black and white in front of the baseball shirt text, then click regenerate again. So I think that the word shirt is too generic. I need to think of a better descriptive word that the AI will be able to contextualize. I'm going to try replacing shirt with jersey and see what happens. Well, this one's mostly giving me stripes, and I'm not super satisfied with it, so I'm going to keep the same prompt, but switch over to the bomber type, since that probably matches more with my prompt. Again, I'll keep clicking regenerate until I see something that I really like. And I think I'm going to go with this one. It has a good black and white pattern, and it also resembles a letter jacket a little bit. Now I'm going to click import to project and wait. Once I see the garment transfer object appear in the scene hierarchy, I'm good to close down the garment window and check out the preview panel. Wow, that, that looks pretty good, but I wanted to see it a little bit better, so I'm going to click on the text that says idle at the top of the preview panel and try out different previews to get a better view. Using the body preview, it looks pretty good. There's only one problem though. I'm noticing that the hat isn't visible anymore. So this is due to an issue with the render order. Think of the render order as a painting. Every time you brush something into your painting, you're creating a layer. First, you create the sky in the very back of the scene, then you'd paint the mountains in the background, then some trees, the grass, and the ground, and finally you paint a person in the foreground. This is essentially what's happening in Lens Studio with all the objects and cameras. So if we take a closer look at the scene hierarchy, we'll see that the garment transfer created a new orthographic camera. If we can make it so that the orthographic camera renders first, we'll be able to see both the jersey and the hat. So let's go into the asset browser and click on the scene asset. Now in the inspector, we can look at the render order config and drag the orthographic camera above the first camera object. Once we do, we can reset the lens and everything is working. Let's add a little finishing touch, maybe a color correction. These can really emphasize your AR experience by adding a custom color filter over everything. We'll just go to the scene hierarchy, click the plus icon, and scroll down until we get to the color correction section. I'm going to go with the contrast and see how it looks. Okay, that looks pretty nice. You can also click on the alpha slider in the inspector to adjust the intensity of the contrast. One thing I'm noticing is that we have a little render issue with the hat and the contrast. It looks like the contrast is rendering before the hat, so I'm going to click the little zero next to the contrast and increase that number to one. Now it renders after the hat and it all looks cohesive. The final thing we need to do is save our project. This is very important because we can always go back and update it later if we want. And now we have a polished lens ready to publish. Go ahead and move on to the final video so you can publish your first lens. Thanks for watching everyone.